our for the afternoon set. Sitting in a field with the deer come out and feed every night. Hoping that I can get a couple of doe close enough to get a shot. field and it's still over two hours before sunset. I'm so freaking pumped, man. I have hunted my butt off for the past month. Went through all of October, four opportunities on doe. Never got an amper, never got a chance to shoot. I just smacked her. I just wish I would have got it all the way on film, but I couldn't move. She was like three yards away. Went ahead and talked to my buddies and just sitting here for the rest of the night. All three of us are out hunting, so we'll finish up the evening and see if any of us has any luck with a big buck. and. Uh, once it's dark, we'll take everything back and grab the buggy and uh, come out and find her. Yeah, meet in the freezer, baby. Heading back to the truck, gonna change clothes, grab a better flashlight, come back, see if we can find a blood trail. What's that? I just don't see any blood where it's exited into the Makes me think she went on this side because all the splatters on this side of these branches here. So she had to have come right through here, but there's blood right there. So she did come through here. There's blood right there. Little specks. Not showing much sign. 
There's blood here on that. Okay, so which way are you spraying there, girl? Rain did not help at all. Just enough rain to wet the leaves. Yep. Up make it really hard to see anything. So she came right through here for sure. Because I've got blood on this grass right here. Quick survey of the edge here. She's right in the middle of all of that shit. Hands and knees. Oh my god, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get through this. Ouch! Thorns right in the hand. Can you see it now? Yep, I can see it. Hopefully it's in her. Yeah. Well, at least you know the direction she went. How the hell did she get through here? Might be able to get it from here. No, that's just an arrow. She's in there somewhere. Ouch! Hands and knees crawling to follow blood trail. We're close to it now, anyhow. Oh! There's the arrow. You center punched her, so she's going to be in a world of hurt. Can you, can you, are you on blood trail there? Uh, yeah, I'm on blood, but I don't know which way it's going. I'm going to leave the Luminoc here. Well, where the arrow probably wedged its way out, it probably made a whole mess. I'll go get some stuff. Hey, Brian. Yeah. I smell her. Yeah. You smell lots of deer that are in there, I'm sure. I definitely smell her. Well, let me keep shining the flashlight. Maybe we can see. How the hell did she get through this shit? She crawled right over these branches right here. There, she's right here. See her? Yep, she's right here. Is she dead? Yeah, she did. I'm only 10 feet from her and I couldn't see her. First deer of the year. Got a doe in the books. Uh, very cool. Thank you for helping, buddy. I appreciate that. Oh, we got lucky. The rain did not help. No. Well, it was funny. I mean, I was just following little teeny tiny drops on the grass, blades of grass, and the stalks of dead grass. Yeah. Well, it's been a whole month. Whole month of October I've had four opportunities on doe and just for one reason or another they haven't come through uh, tonight I was in a space where I set up a blind uh, last week and I knew I had an opportunity to uh, get some doe coming in here to feed really green a lot of clover um, it's sheltered from the wind so I went in there tonight hoping that I'd get a doe hoping maybe I might see a buck and uh, I was watching a doe about 40 yards away and all of a sudden this girl surprised. She walked right up in front of the blind, like four yards away from me. I uh, went ahead and shot a good lung shot right behind the shoulder. Uh, she ran about 60 yards through a hedgerow and we found blood splatter on both sides of the trail that she ran through in the hedgerow. And then she came out into the far field and oh my God, it took us 10 minutes to find the blood trail. And we were just following drops, almost uh, bending over the entire time. And then she went into this huge, huge thick pocket of brush and Brian walked up maybe 20 yards and saw my Luminoc in the middle of it. And I had to crawl hands and knees all the way into the center of it, found my arrow and um, followed the blood maybe another 15 yards. And I was five feet from her and didn't see her. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh, there's something white. And I looked and she was only five or six feet from me on the other side of a huge stem of honeysuckle branches. And I didn't even know she was there other than I smelled her. So we found her and dragged her out and, um, Got a doe in the books, man. I'm psyched. First year of the year and uh, going to get out next couple of days here and hopefully um, see some buck moving and hopefully get a buck. Okay, guys. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great day. See ya. Mm -hmm.